from Senator Steve Daines from Montana. You might ask, what's a Montanan doing here in the southern border? Well, I represent a state, a northern border state, that has a southern border crisis. What we haven't talked much about yet today in this press conference is what's going on with the drugs pouring across the southern border. It's a zero-sum game down here in terms of what's going on with our border patrol. They have a limited number of resources. In fact, we've deployed are some of our northern border resources here to help out in the southern border. Wherever every hour they spend processing the flood of illegal immigrants coming across the border is an hour that is taken away from being on the front lines defending our country and stopping the flood of Mexican meth, Mexican heroin, Mexican fentanyl. Twenty years ago in Montana, meth was homemade. It was homegrown and it had purity levels less than 30 percent. Today, the meth that is getting into Montana is Mexican cartel. It has purities north of 95 percent. Far more dangerous, far more addictive, and it's less expensive because they're producing so much of it and then shipping it into our country. I spoke to one of my county sheriffs in Montana 48 hours ago. He told me he was holding seven Mexican cartel members in his jail in Montana the last couple of weeks. We have MS-13 gang members in Montana. So this is an issue that affects <coughs> a northern border state like Montana. And finally, Montanans are scratching their heads. They're asking, where's the common sense when a U.S. citizen, if they leave the country and want to come back in, you have to produce a passport and a COVID test result? That's not true right now on the southern border. And we're scratching our heads and asking why.